The Book of the Prophet Isaiah, Chapter 65 I am sought of them that ask not for me. I am found of them that sought me not. I said, Behold me, behold me, unto a nation that was not called by my name. I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people, which walks in a way that was not good, after their own thoughts, a people that provokes me to anger continually to my face, that sacrifice in the gardens and burns incense upon altars of brick, which remain among the graves and lodge in the mon monuments, which eat swine's flesh and broth of abominable, abominable things in their vessels, which say, Stand by thyself, come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. These are a smoke of my nose, a fire that burns all the day. Behold, it is written before me, I will not keep silence, but will recompense, even recompense unto their bosom. Your iniquities and their iniquities of your fathers together, says the Lord, which have burned incense upon the mountains and blasphemed me upon the hills. Therefore will I measure their former work into their bosom. Thus says the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one says, destroy it not, for a blessing is in it, so will I do for my servants' sake, that I may not destroy them all. And I will bring forth the seed out of Jacob and out of Judea, an inheritor of my mountains, and my elect shall inherit it, and my servants shall dwell there. And Sharon shall be a fold of flocks, and the valley of Achor a place for the herds to lie down in, for my people have sought me. But ye are they that forsake the Lord, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that troop, and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter, because when I called, ye did not answer, when I spoke, ye did not hear, but did evil before my eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Therefore, says the Lord God, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry, Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. For the Lord God shall slay thee, and call his servants by another name that he who bless himself in the earth shall bless himself in the God of truth. And he that swears in the earth shall swear by the God of truth, because the former troubles are forgotten, and because they are hidden from my eyes. For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come into mind. But be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For, behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing and her people a joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people. And the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. There shall be no more thence an infant of days, nor an old man that has not filled his days. For the child shall die a hundred years old, but the sinner being a hundred years old shall be accursed. And they shall build houses and habit them, and they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build another inhabitant. They shall not plant and eat another. For as the days of the tree are the days of my people, and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble, for they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, and their offspring with them. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer, and while they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. The lion shall eat straw like the bull, and the dust shall be the serpent's meat. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, says the Lord. Chapter 66 Thus says the Lord, The heaven is my throne, and is the earth, the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye built unto me? And where is the place of my rest? For all those things has my hands made, and all those things have been, says the Lord. But to this man will I look, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit, 
and trembles at my word. He that kills an ox is as if he slew a man. He that sacrificed a lamb as if he cut off a dog's neck. He that offers an oblation as if he offered swine's blood. He that offered burnt incense as if he blessed an idol. Yes, they have chosen their own ways, and their soul delights in her abominations. I also will choose their delusions, and will bring the fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. When I spoke, they did not hear. But they did evil before mine eyes, and chose that in which I delighted not. Hear the word of the Lord, ye that tremble at his word. Your brethren that hated you, that cast you out for my name's sake. Let the Lord be glorified, for he shall appear to your joy, and they shall be ashamed. A voice of noise from the city, a voice from the temple, a voice from the Lord that renders recompense to his enemies. Before she travailed, she brought forth. Before her pain came, she was delivered of a man-child. Who has heard such a thing? Who has seen such things? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. Shall I bring to the birth and not cause to bring forth, says the Lord? Shall I bring, shall I cause to bring forth and shut the womb, says thy God? Rejoice ye with Jerusalem, and be glad with her, all ye that love her. Rejoice for joy with her, all ye that mourn for her that ye may suck and be satisfied with the breasts of her consolations, that ye may milk out and be delighted with the abundance of her glory. <clears throat> For thus says the Lord, Behold, I will extend peace to her like a river, and the glory of the Gentiles like a flowing stream. Then shall ye suck, ye shall be borne upon her sides, and be dandled upon her knees. As one whom this mother comforts, so will I comfort you, and ye shall be comforted in Jerusalem. When I see you this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bones shall flourish like a herb, and the hand of the Lord shall be known toward his servants, and his indignation toward his enemies. For behold, the Lord will come with fire, and his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh and the abomination and the mouse, and shall be consumed together, says the Lord. For I know their works and their thoughts. It shall come that I will gather all nations and tongues, and they shall come and see my glory. And I will set a sign among them, and I will send those that escape of them to the nations to Tarshish, Pul, Lud, that draw the bow to Tabul, Javan, to the isles afar off, that have not heard my fame, neither have seen my glory. And they shall declare my glory among the Gentiles. And they shall bring all the brethren for offering unto the Lord out of the nations upon horses, and in chariots, and in litters, and upon mules, and upon swift beasts. To my holy mountain Jerusalem, says the Lord, as the children of Israel bring an offering in a clean vessel into the house of the Lord. And I will also take of them the priests and for Levites, says the Lord, for as the new heavens and new earth which I will make shall remain before me, says the Lord, so shall your seed and your name remain. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, says the Lord. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the men that have transgressed against me. For their worm shall not die, neither shall their fire be quenched, and they shall be an abhorring unto all flesh. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you with all my heart. In your loving name I pray. Amen.